Hi and welcome to my bookshelf tour. I'm doing this bookshelf tour to celebrate that I just reached a hundred thousand subscribers which is a little bit crazy. I also haven't done a bookshelf tour in about two years. I haven't done one since I moved to London so here we go. So here you can see the first shelf from top to bottom. So here we have my English Harry Potter books which I'm sure you've all seen before. And then this is um, something that Elma Fi made for me, Books and Quills, so lovely. And then here we have a lot of my favourite Dutch childhood books. So at the top we have Crusade in Jeans, um, then Niemand Houdt Me Tegen, which is dystopian, and then lots of books by Thea Beckman, Hasse Simons Dochter, Saartje Tadema, Geef Me De Ruimte, and Kinderen van Moeder Aarde, which I talk about a lot, and English is Children of Mother Earth. I think the only book of this that has been translated into English is the top one, Crusade in Jeans. Sorry guys. Here we have a shelf of lots of um, books with black covers. So first of all here we have The New Ghost, which is a really cool like graphic novel. The Art of Joy, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, The Strangler Vine, White Dog Fell Down from the Sky, The Night Guest, Supernatural Enhancements, Mouse, Who is Tom Ditto, Time Bomb, The Miniaturist, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel, Hollow City, the sequel, and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the first one, Shadow of the Wolf, Just My Type, a book about graphic design, Thinking with Type, same, A Monster Calls of Patrick Ness, this beautiful edition of Moby Dick, Tinder by Sally Gardner, Serafina, The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson, how I Live Now, The Jewel, which is an arc, The Time Traveler's Wife, White Noise, The Book of Disquiet, Ready Player One, at some point I will fall from this chair, The Believers, The Reluctant Fundamentalist, Everything is Illuminated, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, The Sun Also Rises by Hemingway, The Old Man and the Sea, also by Hemingway, one of my favourites of Mice and Men by Steinbeck, Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth, The French Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, this is all gonna fall, Ender's Game, and then at the bottom The Whispering Muse. Then here we have all my Shakespeare books for the 10 Shakespeare plays I'm trying to read this year. This beautiful new Jane Austen set, One Book is Missing, that I have in a recent haul that I just need to add. So it is Emma, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, and Persuasion. Then we have the Chaos Walking trilogy. Actually, first I will show you all of my flip back books. Cloud Atlas, The Reunion, which is a Dutch book. Het Diner, or The Dinner by Hermann Koch, also Dutch. Then the Dutch edition of The Fault in Our Stars, another copy of Persuasion. And the Dutch edition of The Book Thief. Yeah, so here comes the Chaos Walking trilogy. The Ask and the Answer. These covers kind of, I don't know if you can tell, it looks like they're broken. The Knife of Never Letting Go. And finally, Monsters of Men. Then we have Ruta Zepedi's Schadu Liefde, which is Between Shades of Grey, but in Dutch. Three copies of The Vault in Our Stars. Stephen Fry's The Star's Tennis Balls, this beautiful copy of On the Road. And then my Penguin English Library Collection, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, The War of the Worlds, Middlemarch by George Eliot, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, and then finally Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. So here we are at the pile of uh, Penguin Classics, which I will just be reading out to you. I can't show you all the covers. Also, uh, a lot of them don't look that great. Okay, so Anne Veronica. Uh, the Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Tess of the Durbervilles, The Mill on the Floss, Ivanhoe, The Street of Crocodiles and Other Stories, The Way of All Flesh, Idols of the King, Metamorphoses, A Sentimental Journey, Kips, St. Joan, The History of Tom Jones, The Foundling, The Monk, Israel Potter, A Short Residence in Sweden, and Memoirs of the Author of The Rights of Woman, Robinson Crusoe. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass and A Room with a View. Ooh. And below that we have some um, Dutch book that we got during like the Dutch week of literature. So there is uh, Nooit Alleen by Luce den Hollander, The Piano Man by Bernhoef, uh, Duel by Joost Zwagerman, Een Tafel voor Vlinders by Tim Carbet. Then there's the Gorilla Art Kit 
by Carrie Smith. We have the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. And then we have three dictionaries, English to Dutch, Dutch to English, and the uh, picture dictionary, which has like pictures of vegetables and then the English and Dutch and French term for it. It's good when you can't think of the word in any of these languages. Then we have this bookcase here, which starts at the top, just pan down. Woo! At the top we have my uh, Dutch Harry Potter books and a huge collection of Shakespeare's works, which it's very heavy. I'm now standing on a chair and we will find out if this is a good idea soon enough. Here we have Wildwood, which I will move out of the way. The, the top here we have Edge, a novel by Koji Suzuki. The corner we have a book called Hook, Line and Singer, um, which is basically old children's songs with beautiful illustrations, which I got when I was interning at Penguin. Time Reborn, which is a non-fiction book. And Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. Ghana Must Go by Taye Selassie. Can We Still Be Friends by Alexandra Shulman. An Object of Beauty. The Age of Wire and String. The Universe Inside You. In Flight Science about the science of planes. Megan Moon by Sally Gardner. Mad Dogs and Englishmen about things to do in the UK. Then Tired of London, Tired of Life about things to do in London. The Letter for the King by Tunku Drachts. Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. The Pale King by David Foster Wallace. And my ideal bookshelf. Oh, and also here I have the penguin postcards, which are super cool. So it's just like a collection of all these penguin covers. The Observations, The Marriage Pop by Jeffrey Eugenides. How to Live Safely in a Science Fictional Universe, Dante's Inferno. Various Pets, Alive and Dead, The Fry Chronicles. Daily Rituals about the daily rituals of famous people. The Silence of Animals. The Quick by Lauren Owen, which is an advanced reader's copy. And then finally, this beast of a book, The Luminaries. Okay, then we're gonna get started on the beige shelf. So first of all, we have The Line of Witch in the Wardrobe. Then I'll start at the top here. We have my all-time favorite, Withering Heights. Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. And Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Boy Snow Bird. Cesarion, which is a Dutch book by Tommy Wienha. And then finally, in the corner at the top, we have the Barbara Camines books that I showed in a recent haul. Okay, so in the corner we have The Inventor's Secret, Robopocalypse, Multiples, which is that really cool book with um, stories being translated from language to language, Disgrace by Yam Kutse, which I'll probably read one more time because I had to read it for class and then I'll decide if I want to keep it or not. Never mind. Elizabeth is Missing, Maggot Moon, An Utterly Impartial History of Britain, or 2,000 Years of Upper Class Idiots in Charge. A Leaf the Unseen. We the Drowned. Is that a fresh in your ear? Pride and Prejudice. Almost English. The Virgin Suicides. The Grey Gatsby. The Alchemist. Every Day. X versus Y. Little Women. Princesses Behaving Badly. The Kentery Tales a Retelling. Burial Rites. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The Body Economic, which is nonfiction. And finally, the secondhand book that I picked up, Two Strays in America. It's a really old Dutch children's book. Next is The Beautiful Blue Shelf. First of all, The Tortoise and the Hare by Elizabeth Jenkins. Then we have a nice pile here. The Common Reader by Virginia Woolf. The Domesticated Brain. Alexander's Bridge, The Beautiful Mutants and Swallowing Geography, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, and All the Birds Singing. We have some travel guides, Los Angeles and Chicago, Lagoon, and The Lemon Grove, The Falling Man, The Thousand Autumns of Jakob de Zoot, and Atonement, In the Night, Mutton, A Million Little Pieces, Anna of the Five Towns, and Kim, Absolution, Fangirl by Rambo Rao, Dutch First Harry Potter New Edition, Player One by Douglas Coupland, Tales of Beetle the Bard, 1Q84, which together Form a Moon, Sense and Sensibility. I'll probably donate this edition now that I have the other ones. Oh, I'll be sad to see it go. Into the Wild, The Bell Jar. Read it once, wasn't a fan, but will reread. Um, I read it when I was quite young. We Were Liars, The Dinner, the English edition of the flip back you saw earlier, Let It Snow, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Apartment 3W, Heap House by Edward Carey, The New York Rough Guide, Picture Me Gone, The Cuckoo's Calling, Dream Eaters, White Teeth by Zadie Smith, The Beautiful Ruins, Finally in the Corner, Well Read Women. One shelf lower, here we go, this is the like brown maroon purple shelf, I guess. Um, first we have some Vogue 
cover postcards, which I use for birthdays and things like that a lot. Ugh. And here is a pile of notebooks and old books. So this is Notebooks, Meanwhile by H.G. Wells, Poetic Works of Lord Tennyson. Those are all notebooks. And then I have Matthew Arnold. At the top, we have A Game of Thrones. And A is for Angelica by Ian Broom, Mr. Pernomer's 24-hour bookstore. All the way in the corner, I have Alice in Sutherland, which is a graphic novel. Then we have some more graphic novels, Sense and Sensibility, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Sandman by Neil Gaiman, and this secondhand book that I picked up for some reason, The Presidents of the United States. A Red Sun Also Rises, Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone, Under the Egg, I Am Legend, I hate this edition, but love the book. Manuscript Found in Accra, The Savages by Matt Wyman, Harry a History, The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson, Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, On Beauty by Zadie Smith, Madigan's Fantasia, The First Men in the Moon, How to Get Filthy Rich in Rising Asia, The Language of Flowers, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, Always Emily about the Bronte Sisters, I Always Get My Sin about hilarious Dutch expressions, A Grammar Guide, really stupid book with Harry Potter jokes from when I was like 12, The American Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Stephen Fry in America, The Namesake, an interview with J.K. Rowling in Dutch, also from when I was 12. There's like three mistakes in there. The Sea Change, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and Paper Towns. Now the bottom shelf is a little bit dark, so I figured I will just put all the books on here and then show you that way. So this is the pile we're gonna look at right now, which obviously the theme here is orange. So at the top we have The Catcher in the Rye, The Chrysalids by John Wyndham, The First Scott Pilgrim, White Sargasso Sea, Lost in a Good Book by Jasper Ford, Know Your Onions by Graphic Design, Lady Chatterley's Lover, The White Peacock, Love in the Time of Cholera, How Language Works, another edition of Wuthering Heights, Goose by Don O. Porter, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, This Sketchbook by Kate Beaton, Bridget Jones's Diary, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and finally A Working Theory of Love. Then we're going to move on to some yellow books. Draw to Learn French. Draw to Learn Spanish. Slaughterhouse Five. Great Expectations. Harry by Stephen King. I love this cover. The Clown Service. The Infatuations. The Martian by Andy Weir. Expo 58 by Jonathan Go. I'm actually in the middle of reading this. I totally forgot about it. And The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Now I have two pink books that didn't really fit anywhere else. American Savage. Paper Airplanes by Donna Porter. Okay, so here are the green books. I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom. Some fairy tales. Hans Christian Andersen and Brothers Grimm. Edgar Allan Poe, Selected Tales, Howard's End, Far From the Madding Crowd, The Golden Bowl, Never Let Me Go, Quidditch Through the Ages, E in Dutch and English, Osiris, The Phantom Ship, Dawn Among the Dead Men, River, 13 Reasons Why, O Pioneers, um, Hatchet and The Winter by Gary Paulson in Dutch, Just Before The Air Affair, The Vintage Tea Cup Club, Fallen Land, Pre-Raphaelite Circle, The Romantic Poets in Their Circle, Fierce and Dreamer by Laura Eve, Crusade in Jeans, Fun Home, A Hologram for the King, The Book of Virtues, which will always be hilarious, and The uh, Guide to the Orsay Museum in Paris. So now we're going to move on to these shelves, which are in a corner, so they're going to be a little bit difficult to show you, but I'll do my best. House of Leaves, The Wood to Be on the World, Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, Looking for... Alaska, Eclipse, The Host with Stephanie Meyer, The Beast That Shouted Love at the Heart of the World, The Dutch Version of the Fault in Our Stars, which I kind of want to show you. It looks like this. Paper Bodies, a Margaret Cavendish Reader, Little Decking von the Hamel by Hari Mulisch, which is a Dutch book, Triburbia, Seeing Things by Seamus Heaney, um, The Anslag, also by Hari Mulisch, which um, I'm doing a series on Dutch fiction, so you'll see that soon. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, The House on the Borderland, The Donkere Kamer von Damocles, also Dutch, Twilight, Nightmare Abbey, Ian McEwan's Saturday, and The Road by Cormac McCarthy, which I did not like, but might reread one day, maybe. And at the top here we have The Drowned World by J.G. Ballard, Eat Shoots and Leaves on Grammar, The Private Memoirs and Confessions of a Justified Sinner and Caleb Williams, a copy of Let It Snow that has been signed, otherwise I would have donated it because I have two copies, and The Circle. And then here we have some blue books, The Shakespeare Notebook, which has a really cool cover. Harry's Last Stand, Smiler's Fair, Bike Snob Abroad, Picture of Dorian Gray, The Horologicon, Bearside Chaucer, Hex and Gints, 
uh, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender and The World of Harry Potter, which is like background info on Harry Potter, would have donated that as well, but it's in Dutch, so it's kind of hard to find a place to donate it. Next shelf, we have the Norton Anthology of English Literature, Tiger Man, Brissinger, Eldest, and Aragon. At the top here we have The Inferno. Then the Lord of the Rings series and The Hobbit, The Hunger Games, Missing Mockingjay, because I used that for a video. And then here are the Maze Runner trilogy and Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant. I still haven't read Allegiant. Then we get to the bottom where we have the Across the Universe trilogy, uh, totally out of order, sorry. Then the Artemis Fowl series, the Doran Chan series, oh my gosh, I love them. A couple of books from the Suki Stackhouse series, and the first two books for Great and Terrible Beauty and Rebel Angels. And here's a pile that I was still working on, but at the top it has the unknown unknown. A Dutch book, Gitta, some Penguin Great Ideas, um, Silly Novels by Lady Novelist, Utopia on Solitude, um, and then Books versus Cigarettes, Down and Out in Paris and London, and The Letter for the King. And down here we have the books that are going to be in my next book haul, which I can't show you yet. Then here we have some books on feminism. We have Everyday Sexism, Lean In, and Girl Boss. So at the top here we have a bunch of the Penguin Modern Classics mini books, and then a variety of other things. And of course we have my John Wyndham collection. Oh yeah. And here we have my Penguin Modern Classics, The Fountainhead, The Spy Who Came In From The Cold, I do not know how to pronounce this one, The Looking Glass War, Bride's Head Revisit, Sweet Thursday, The Great Gatsby, Mr. Ma and Son, Anthem, Canary Row, The Ballad of the Sad Cafe, The Room, The Graves of Wrath, A Murder of Quality, and The Foresight Saga. And then I have some of the Oxford classics, the covers aren't that interesting. We have Lord Byron's major works, The Tempest, uh, Melmoth the Wanderer, The Last Man, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, The Secret Agent, Romeo and Juliet, The Marble Fawn, Nostromo, and Tis Pity She's a Whore, and other plays. Then finally here we have The Red Shelf. It starts out with a bunch of different reckless journals. Uh, we have Zadie Smith, N.W., and then, of course, Tree of Codes and Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy by Visual Editions. Then I have The Bone Season, The Aftermath, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Etymologicon by Mark Forsyth, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, Half Bad by Sally Green, and Second Hand and Vintage London, A Child's Book of True Crime, Dracula, The Handmaid's Tale, The Secrets of Life and Death, Bloodletting and Miraculous Cures, Snowdrops, Midnight's Children, these are all the vintage editions, The French Lieutenant's Woman, Frankenstein, Planet of the Apes, the 3D version, On the Beach, Emma, which will probably also donate, Oliver Twist, To Kill a Mockingbird, Stoner, and then finally 1984, Three Men in a Boat, and A World Between Us by Lydia Sison. So that was my entire bookshelf tour. My hands are tired, my room is a mess. If you wanna check up on any of these books, I have most of them cataloged on Goodreads. So I'll put my Goodreads in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later. Doei!